Have you ever wondered the role of a systems engineer in IT department? How would they carry out their day-to-day -day responsibilities, tying up with their most hectic job? If you are thinking that landing as a systems engineer would be hectic as well as pressurized enough to work for a company or organization, watch this video till the end and sort out your professional life because in this video we are going to cover up all of the skills which are related to a systems engineer IT, the careers which are related to the role as well as how the major salary of a systems engineer in IT is going to be like so that you are going to get an understanding about the role and eventually you are going to also step in with confidence not with doubt. With that note I would welcome you all to Freshest Now where we are not just going to cover off the basics outlook which I have just mentioned but we are going to also understand about who is a systems engineer in IT and what are the skills that are required, what do they do on a day to day basis and next we are going to understand how to become a systems engineer if you have already passed out a degree or a graduate or if you are willing to step into this role or thinking to as to how you have to start your career as a systems engineer you got this with this slide and you are also going to understand about the various job roles as a systems engineer or various job roles in a systems engineer IT where they would be tackling up with uh, so many responsibilities or various other tasks that they would be doing that they might be considered as further roles in a systems engineer as well. Apart from this, the major question that we all of us have, the salary of a systems engineer. We are going to cover up major locations in India as well as some of the companies that we to just get an idea about the salary of a systems engineer in IT. So now we are going to begin up with the introduction part which is going to be just a definition for our understanding. So who is a systems engineer in IT? So as you can see here, a systems engineer IT would be in charge of creating computer systems for their clients or their customers and with that they would be debugging systems with glitches or any sort of problems. They would be also in charge of creating most efficient program for their client or their cases or their team, whoever they would be working with. They would be also working on a robotic machinery and as well as computer chips. So they would be multitasking and they would be further ensuring that every set of work that they do, they would be actually working on computers and then further bringing out a productive outcome. In order to ensure over this role, you need to have some of the major skills which are Cloud computing, Windows PowerShell, computer hardware technician, then Windows communication, Microsoft Hyper-V server and then virtual machine. All of these skills here are considered to be the foundational skills where you need to understand as to how you can ace your role as a systems engineer. Now this applies to any career level which means even if you are a beginner or a professional. You have to apply these on a day to day basis and if you are wondering what does they do or what do they do on a day to day basis here you can understand a systems engineer would be responsible for designing and they would be setting up the organization's network computer uh, infrastructure and they would be ensuring that the systems would be running smoothly effectively and resolving the technical issues that may be further rising all of this has to be taken care of a systems engineer in IT. And if you are thinking to step into this career, you have to understand the role as well as some of these key essential points along with the skills and certifications include these on a day to day practical exposure of work, experiential uh, knowledge of networking technologies and then you would have the experience in creating scripts using Perl, uh, Python etc and also setting out the software for automation proven track record for installing, configuring and troubleshooting Unix based systems. So this would be an insight for you to understand as to how you have to process the role on a day to day basis. With that note you have to understand that having hands on experience on this would land you into a systems engineer role directly. And what are the various other roles, other job roles which are aligned in the career of a systems engineer in IT would be overseeing the development and installation of the new networking and computing infrastructures, monitoring systems in the existing network to ensure that no providing of uh, or any sort of setbacks and installing and configuring compute operating systems and application software. So all of this has to be uh, aligned within the job role itself. 
we have covered all of the basic perspective of a systems engineer IT and then now we are going to get into the salary of a systems engineer in IT on an average basis in India according to the data given by pay scale. So 3,83,000 per annum is the pay given to a systems engineer. On an average basis, as you can see, the pay by experience from 1 to 4 years, you can see that 3,87,000 per annum is the pay given to a systems engineer. However, between 5 to 10 years, it will be eventually writing from 5,63,000 to 8,22,000 with the right amount of skills and the implementation of your work, you are going to land into that particular elevated salary and not just it. If you are belonging to any sort of locations which are mentioned here, you can consider that the average salaries location wise from this slide. So the average salary of a systems engineer IT in Mumbai is 3,96 and in Hyderabad it is 3,85 and in Bengaluru it's 4 lakhs per annum, Pune is 3,65 and Noida is 3,83. Overall as you can see that there is a balanced pay uh, over the all the locations in India and to mention the major companies like Accenture, Cognizant, TCS, Infosys, HCL and Wipro the major companies that we all look forward to right so these companies are paying their systems engineer as follows starting with Accenture the salary of a systems engineer in Accenture is 5 lakhs per annum and Cognizant is 4 lakhs per annum and then in uh, TCS it's 4 lakhs 18 and Infosys 3 lakhs 55 and in HCL it's 3 lakhs 35,000 per annum and in Wipro it's 1,90,000. Now as you can see there is a drastic change of the salary of a systems engineer depending upon the location as well as company. Now you have to choose like which part of India that you are going to go or which company that you are choosing to work. With that note itself, it also pressurizes on the skills that you are learning, the certifications that you got from which uh, part of your department that you have been graduated to. So all of this would be taken into consideration itself. And we have come to the end of the video. If you have further questions or any suggestions for us, do place them in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to subscribe to Freshest Note channel for more informative videos like this.